Hi there everybody, it's UK independent demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.com. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I have been creating all these wonderful little card tags using some celebration products. So before I get started, celebration season is almost upon us. It starts on the 5th of January and runs through to the end of February and it is amazing. What happens during celebration is for every £45 you spend from either the annual catalogue or the new spring summer catalogue, which I have copies of here and I will be sending out to all my customers next week. And if you want a copy of it, do let me know. So during celebration, if you spend £45 in either the annual catalogue or the mini catalogue, then you will get a free celebration item. One of the items that you can get free is the Darling Donkeys Cling Stamp Set, which is just so cute. And another item you can get free is the 6x6 Oso oh Ombre Designer Series Paper, which is gorgeous. There are four different colours in this, Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Granny Apple Green, Rocio Rose and Whisper White, which I know is five colours, but I never count Whisper White. So you've got your Rococo Rose, your Granny Apple Green, there's your Blackberry Bliss, and let me turn it over. There's your gorgeous Bermuda Bays. Okay, so you get to some different styles. You get the circles and the circles, and then you get the ombre effects in each colour. So they're lovely. So what I have been doing for all my lovely customers is creating them some little mini cards, which feature both the papers and the stamp set just to showcase it off and these are teensy tiny but I think really cute and I've got another load of them to make but I thought I would show you how I batch make all my little customer gifts and thank you cards so let me just move these to the side as you can see I've used all of the colours Bermuda Bay, Granipple Green, there's the Blackberry Bliss and there's the Rocio Rose and I'm a bit short on Blackberry Bliss so that's what I'm going to be picking on today to show you so I've got a little tub that I'm keeping these in so I'm just going to pop them in there before I they will pop out the side and I'm just going to grab one of the Blackberry Bliss ones to put on the side so you can see what we're making okay the stamps you're going to need from the set is the cute little donkey down here with the little rose in his mouth I think that's so cute and the um hey there friend okay you're going to need both thick whisper white and thin whisper white but this is a really good project for utilizing all of your uh, your stash you won't have to use loads and loads because they're teeny teeny tiny so with your trimmer and your a4 thick cardstock so for anybody watching from the states our a4 is 21 centimeters wide so I'm going to score it halfway at 10.5 centimetres. If you're in the States, please score it at wherever is halfway for you. Okay. And then I'm going to cut it down to five centimetres. And I'm going to just keep going until I get to the end. So five centimetres. Five centimetres, five centimetres, five centimetres, five centimetres. And this one at the end in UK cardstock, we are just under 30 centimetres. So this is going to be um, about 4.8 centimetres. So just keep that to the side. We will be using that, but that's the one that's just slightly smaller and that's not to worry. You're then going to want your DSP. So as I said, I've been using the circles. I'm going to continue using those. And what you want to do here is you want to cut it at 10.5 centimetres because that's where we scored it. But if you're using American cardstock and you've scored halfway through your cardstock, whatever length you scored it at is where you want to cut your DSP. But for us in the UK, 10.5 centimetres. Okay, keep that bit. And then what you want to do is you want to cut them all at five centimetres, the same as we were doing for the thick whisper white. And it should leave you with a teensy tiny little strip at the end. 
fact, I didn't cut that very straight. That was on the skew if, so I'm just gonna trim that so it's straight. It's not much, but I noticed it was on the skew if after I did it. So these three pieces I'm gonna put on this side. This one here is again, just slightly under five centimeters because when I got to 10.5, I couldn't, 15.5 is just over six inches and this is six by six paper. So as you can see, it's just under five centimeters, which is perfect because over here, we've got a little strip that's just under five centimeters. So they'll fit perfectly. So you just wanna cut that at 10.5. And that gives you a little square for future projects. And you also want to keep the little cut off also for future projects. And I'll show you something you can do with that in a minute. Okay. So that gives you three pieces. And you'll notice that we had one, two, three, four, five. So you just need to cut another piece of DSP the same to match the other five. But I'm just going to work with the three and then this one over here because you know that's what I've got the DSP cut for at the moment you don't want to sit and watch me do like 60 of them do you so we will uh, we will truck on fold over your tiny mini little cards these are so cute and they're great because you can just stick them onto a little gift so um, I generally gift away product to my customers so um rhinestones paper different different bits and pieces so i can just pin this as a little tag on it and i think that's just it's just handy for me so i'm just going to use some tombow run it over there personal preference with them i've gone from dark to light on my cards so the dark at the top and run it all the way down Okay, and I'm just going to put that to the side just to dry. Like granny apple green curl is lovely, isn't it? It's the one thing with stamping up DSP that really, really winds me up is the fact that it's so gorgeous. And then there's another gorgeous pattern on the other side. So you have to sort of choose one or the other. And half the times I don't want to choose. And I look at them for ages thinking, which side am I going to use? Um so i suppose that's a not really a problem it's it's more of a compliment that i just like all of their products but always creates some problem for me knowing which one i'm going to use so i'm just going to use my bone folder to make sure those dsp layers are all stuck on and you'll notice that they sit on there so that the whole front of the card and then this thin one will have this thin one on top okay so it, it does work out pretty perfectly like that that the DSP also has a thin strip that will go with my thin card. Okay, once you've got the, the DSP strip stuck on, you can pop it with your others. It doesn't matter then which one's the thinner one. It's only a couple of point centimetres, but, you know, you've got it. Then what we're going to do, thin whisper white, your memento ink pad, and I'm just going to grab my trimmer back because I want some little squares that are two centimetres by three centimetres. So it's up to you which way you do this. I'm going to cut that at three centimetres so I have a strip, and I will pre-warn you on the Stampin' Up Cut Trimmer, so I'm not confusing anyone, I do one, two, three centimetres and one inch on this side because I find that I have a whole guide here to rest against, whereas if I do it on this side, I don't have as much of a guide and it goes wiggly. So this was at three centimetres, so all I'm going to do now is cut across at two centimetres, and as I said, I do it on this side. So these little rectangles are three centimetres by two centimetres. Over in the States, if you're using inches, it's three quarters of an inch by one and three eighths of an inch. So it's just a teeny tiny little, little square. And in case you are new to my videos and you haven't watched them before, when I'm doing mass stamping and mass creating, um, either for customer gifts or swaps or things like that, 
that's a really tiny bit so I'm, I'm a bit worried about cutting that so I'm just going to leave it to the side because it's going to go wobbly. Um, what I actually do in my craft room is I have these silicon um, cake moulds, they're for tiny little cupcakes. Well, if you listen to me long enough, I can't cook, I burn everything, so they're more use in my um, craft room. And you'll notice I've been making little acorns and flowers and things like that. So whenever I cut all my little bits out, I have them in all of these little tubs. And then I can mass create, so I could cut, for instance, 60 of these, stick them in there, stamp them all, put them back, and I know where everything is then. Okay. So with my inks and my stamping, I have got my donkey already ready with his little rose in his um teeth and i've got the hey there friend stamp so the hey there friend stamp is going to come onto these so i've got four i'm gonna line those up one two three four Okay, so what I would do normally is have another cake mould. Pop them all in when they're stamped. And then I'd pop them all backwards like this and pop my dimensionals on them all. And then before I rip the backs off the dimensionals, because I haven't finished doing the rest of my project yet, I will sweep them all back up and put them back in my cake thing. So for instance, if I'm making sort of 60 of these, I would have 60 of those in there stamped in dimensionals up ready just to form a production line at the end. Okay, my memento ink. Okay, so I want four donkeys. And I'm leaving a bit of a gap in between because these don't have coordinating dies. So for all of you that normally join in my lives and complain when I, I start doing loads of fussy cutting, guess what? That's right. Fussy cutting heaven here. Um, so Blackberry Bliss. So I've got the um, Blackberry Bliss light blend. I'm only using the lights. Um... I use the light Granny Apple Green, the light Bermuda Bay and the light Rococo Rose on the others so that I could put the rose on. And I'm just colouring the rose so it's the same colour as the flower. That is the only colouring I'm doing and I'm not blending it, I'm just using the light just to do the whole rose. Okay, so it's now fussy cutting time. <laughs> Sounded very since what's it called? Um, oh, I think of the word in a minute. Sinister, sinister. Sounded very sinister. Getting my uh, snips out for my donkey. I was actually going to time lapse making these. I thought it would be fun. Um, I have already made forty of them, and I'm still going. And so I thought, oh, it'd be really fun to time lapse making all the donkeys and then I thought well when it comes to the fussy cutting people be like what <laughs> and I like doing my fussy cutting in front of the tv so what I do do when I'm fussy cutting is I cut the entire shape out like I've just done so I don't have lots of paper around it makes it a lot easier to move the paper around the scissors if you uh you cut off all the excess to start off with so you haven't got a great big piece flying in every time you turn your image around. I've only gone up the one leg. This was very, very thin to go up and I didn't really trust myself with my scissors so I only did the one. It depends, I suppose, how fussy your fussy cutting is but I'm, I was happy with mine. Round onto his tail. What I will say while I'm fussy cutting actually is if you liked the papers and you like the um, 
celebration papers as well and you're thinking to yourself gosh that's that's a bit I've got to spend in the new catalogue to get all of the celebration papers because there are trust me there are four I think and they are all lovely you can actually get them free by joining my paper share <coughs> little cough sorry about that very rude on a video but got a scratchy throat um so I'm having a paper share which includes all of the standard papers in the annual catalogue and then I'm having a deluxe paper share which includes all of the deluxe papers in the mini catalogue sorry this is for the mini catalogue not the annual I don't know why I said annual daft um then I've also got a ribbon and embellishment share and you also get free celebration papers with all of those so let me just explain to you how it will work because I've got a little grid so the normal paper share just here is all of the papers in the new mini and you will get a quarter of it and the cost is £21.50. Whereas it would have cost you £10.75 for each one. And with that you get the free paper blooms DSP which is just stunning. Then there is the deluxe paper share which is £11.50. And you get a quarter of all of that so it saves you quite a bit of money again from the... Uh, mini catalogue and with that you get the very delightful DSP and you get a quarter of that for free. If you want the paper share and the deluxe paper share it will cost you £21.50 plus £11.50 and you will get both of the paper share um, from the celebration catalogue free. Then you've got the ribbon share down here and the ribbon share includes a quarter of every single ribbon yard, uh, ribbon twine, um, yarn anything that's in the catalogue so you've got braided linen trim you've got some twine ribbons you get a quarter of all of that and if you order that for £11.25 you get the sew ombre which is what we're using now you get a quarter of that free as a thank you as well and then the embellishment share is a quarter of all the embellishments so that's like your rhinestones your dots your charms your little trinkets and your clasps and if you order that one, you get the flower and field DSP, a quarter of that free. And you can look and think, do you know what? I like ribbons, but I never use the papers. So I'm just going to go for the ribbons or I like the papers, but I'm not like, keen on the ribbons. So you can do a chop and change and you can get all four or you can get one of the four. OK, so if you want to join in, just drop me an email, slimandstylish at live.co.uk. Leave me a message below. Just get in touch with me and let me know. I'll pop your name down for a share and these will ship to you on the 5th of January. Okay, it's just a great way of getting a bit of everything from the catalogue, but not paying to get all of it. You know, you get a sampler. It was more than a sampler. It's a quarter of each one. And trust me, this year, ugh, the papers are just gorgeous. So I've popped a couple of dimensionals onto my little donkey. And I'm going to stick him on the top of my card. I've only fussy cut the one. I've got the others to fussy cut after the video but you don't want to sit and watch me do four do you <laughs> yeah that would be fun so there's my little donkey on there here's my little sentiment hey there friend and then i've got some rhinestones which i'm going to pop on there so they're not there they're the little oh I opened, oh there they are, I was about to say I know I opened a new, uh, new pack to do these and I couldn't find them. So I'm just using the little rhinestones and I'm just picking up two, one, two, and there's no rhyme or reason, I'm just picking little circles that are on the side. I'm just doing two of them to provide some glitz there. And there we go, those are my teeny tiny little customer tags five centimeters by 10.5 centimeters and they include our gorgeous celebration products so i can put those in my little tub as done and i've got three more on my desk to do so simple so easy if you do want a copy of any of the catalogues just drop me a message below i've just given you my email address go and have a look if you want to join my paper share drop me a message or if you just want to shop for any of the items that i've used in this video they will go live 5th of january and you can purchase them from www.slimandstylish.stampinup.net which is just in the corner of the screen bye everyone 
sorry I'm back. I did mention earlier on to keep hold of these little tiny strips that you cut off your DSP. What I've done with them is I collected all of them. I've used quite a few sheets of the DSP so far and so I collected all of them and I created a tiny little strip like this. I've created a few of them. So I got a strip of Whisper White cardstock this was, um, it's three quarters of an inch by three and a half inches, or it's two centimetres by nine centimetres. And what I did was I covered it in glue completely, popped the strip on, popped all the colours on, then I cut up and then kept layering the strip all the way up so you get like a little strippy strip like this. And then what I'm going to do with it once I've finished, I'm going to create a few cards using the strips that I made. So, for instance, if I just grab a card base, this is 10.2 centimetres by 14.5 centimetres. I can pop that then on there. So let's just, for instance, pop it on. Come on, glue, you were working two seconds ago. I forgot until I turned the camera off that I really hadn't showed you what I was going to do with this and I told you to keep hold of it so I felt a bit guilty that I hadn't showed you but it just shows that there's no waste with these DSPs okay so I'm just gonna pop that on there ignore the fact I told you the size of this cardstock I'm actually gonna cut it down so I'm gonna cut it down so it's nine centimeters so it fits that strip perfectly Okay, and if it's nine centimetres, that's a centimetre and a half off. So I'm going to want a centimetre and a half off there. So it's going to be 13.25 centimetres. Sorry, I was trying to work it out in ratios to my actual base card stock because it's going to be a normal size card, this one. And then you can add any of your bits and pieces on again. So I'm going to pop the donkey on. Should have used a different donkey for you, shouldn't I? So you could see the different ones, but I'm not going to. I'm going to use this one. Um, he's going to go in the centre, I think. And behave there, friend. And I'm going to colour his rose in. I will colour it in in the light Bermuda Bay because bermuda bay it was my favorite one of all the papers it's why there were so many of those ones done because bermuda bay is my favorite color and then i'm gonna grab um some ribbon let's grab this one this is from the annual catalog um i'm just gonna run that yeah and run it across there so what i need is some glue on the back Pulled that a bit tight. Yeah, whenever you get off cuts of card, I mean, these little squares that we had as well are going to be so useful. Never, I just keep an envelope, um, well, it's, it's like a clear wallet actually, with them. Because you never know when you're going to be able to use them again. Oh, it's a good job my card was, I'm still on that big, big side. Got to the end of my ribbon. I think I'm going to struggle to get a bow out of it. I am. Okay. Come on, Helen. You can get a bow out of here. Don't think we can, you know. I think my fingers aren't going to let me get a little bow out. Come on, you can. Go. okay tiny little bow teensy tiny 
point shift. I got one. I, I struggle with bows. Um, so I didn't think I would get one out of that, but I, I've got a tiny, tiny one. So there you are. Way to use up all your DSP and all of your your ribbons with this one. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Okay, glue dot on the back. Pop that onto there. Oh, isn't that cute? It's teeny, 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 tiny. So a piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock. Yeah, pop that onto the back. My donkey having a proper fiesta here. Some of the rhinestones. I'm going to use some of the bigger ones because I used little ones on all of those um, tags. So I've got an abundance of the bigger ones. Not sure if there's a big enough gap to put on there. I'm going to say that there is. It looks odd if I don't put one on. Hey there, friend. And there we go. I haven't got a card base because I wasn't planning on making a big card. <laughs> but then that will just fit onto a card base. Um, I've got a card here that I was making earlier, so I'll turn it over and just pop that on top of there so you can see sort of the idea it'll be. But yeah, so these bits here that you have chopped off, always keep hold of them. They come in so handy on everything, and that's how I use my scraps. Thanks, everybody, again. If you have liked the video, do give me a thumbs up, and don't forget, it's all available from my website. Links are down below. Have a good week. Bye.